About two weeks ago, I had something really funny happen with my daughter, where she started calling another child on the playground trash, and not for the reason that you're probably thinking. Before we get to the story, my name's Alex, I'm a hacker and information security geek, and on this channel we explore hacking and stories, and I do live streams on Saturday, but this story has been sticking in my head because I find it hilarious, but also, I feel like I've gotten some sort of like nugget of truth from it, where I wanted to share it. So me and my daughter arrived at the playground about two weeks ago, and she did what all kids do. They go off and start playing with other kids. And this time was a little bit different. She met another child named David, but at the time, his name was Trash. Now, how did this happen? Well, the kid kept picking up Trash, and the parent, instead of like, phrasing the full sentence saying, hey David, that's trash, put it down. She started saying, that's trash, that's trash. And my daughter heard that's trash as an introduction and proceeded to call him trash for the next five or 10 minutes. I mean, it might not have been that long, but in that instant, something was so funny. Because she had heard this boy's mother call him trash, she had evidence. She knew beyond a shadow of a doubt in her mind that his name was Trash. Trash, let's go over on the playscape. Trash, let's go over on the seesaw. <laughs> and as a parent, you're trying not to like laugh. And we quickly, like, me and my wife quickly went in and said, no, 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 his name is David. No, that was because he was picking up trash and we corrected it. But it was so interesting and that's why it stuck with me almost two weeks later. That in that moment, Alice, my daughter, she was so sure, she was so positive his name was Trash. And it didn't matter like what was happening in the world, what, what anyone else said, his name was Trash. <laughs> and like, on, so, on some realm, it's just hilarious and we could laugh at it. But on another, the reason it's stuck with me for almost two weeks now is I'm thinking back to times, whether it's during like a contest, and I've been doing like hacking challenges lately with like Gurkhan and I'll, I'm, I'll link some above, but how many times you go down either a rabbit hole or a red herring and you're so sure you're right and you waste a bunch of time on it until you something clicks and you snap out of it. But like beyond hacking challenges, just in life in general, how often I've been so sure of something, like so positive that no, nothing is gonna sway you. Like this this confidence of a, a three or four year old, like this just positive. Then it doesn't matter what anyone says, you know you're 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 right. The thing that was so interesting was she was so sure. And as a child, I think you can be so confident, yet so wrong. And as you grow up, you lose some of that self-confidence and you start letting other people's opinions affect what your own belief structure is. And I think then you get older and you stop questioning your beliefs because you go from this, you're so sure of yourself to everyone's opinion matters and then no one's opinions matter. And I think that's what's so interesting here is that two weeks ago when the story happened, it made me think about what in my life am I so sure of Yet I can be so wrong. And moreover, what would break me out of that? I think for me, it would be friends. It would be family. And it's not that they would share the opinion and I'd go, ooh, that's truth. That is truth. I think it's that thing that would make me start thinking on it and start researching and pulling in opinions. And I think that's what's so important is, is always be questioning, always be thinking, always be researching because like that's why I love being a hacker because it's all about asking questions, about remaking your belief structure around security and thinking like how can this system be broken that has never been broken before and what can I do to question it in a new way? Um, so I'll leave you with that. Whether you got a world shaking new belief structure or ways of breaking down core beliefs or just a laugh at my daughter calling some random child trash in a playground. <laughs> Either way, I hope you enjoy and hack on.